So these are baby kelp, uh, juvenile kelp. Yeah, so over the past several decades, we've lost about 95% of our giant kelp in Tasmania. Mm. And those losses are due to climate change and ocean warming. And that means that we can use these to test and to identify some individuals that are more tolerant of warm water. So they've been out there for about six months. Uh, we've got you know 50 kelp at one site, over 100 at another site. Average size is about 50 centimetres. Some of the biggest ones are already over a metre. So. Mm. This project's really about laying the foundation of knowledge. It's, mm. it's the very first step. Definitely. So giant kelp exists elsewhere in the world. It's unfortunately also in decline elsewhere in the world. And by planting these kelp, we can create giant kelp forests and then support and hopefully restore and protect all the other animals that come to live in the giant kelp forest. Like Ken was saying at the time, or sharing information with you know, other people in the world, and our goal is really to restore or keep maintain the healthy marine ecosystem. Mm. So that's what we are trying to do. Mm.